What up, Famski? This is New Bedford's friendly neighborhood resident Portuguese thick boy, Eric Lima, here coming at you with another video episode from my secondary YouTube channel blog in which I present to all of you my sentimental thoughts come from my heart and my soul and my mental all ball shenanigans come from my mind and brain. This is EML 77 TV episode 934. What's going on? Online unboxing number 29. Got another package from eBay that came, that came in today. Can't un so I can't wait to open it up. And um, so uh, here we go. Here we go, and um, that might need the scissors. I'm going to need the scissors. Remember, kids, you can't run with scissors. I, mean, I, I can tell you that. I cannot stress this enough. You cannot run with scissors. Don't run with scissors. Don't scare your siblings with scissors. Don't scare your parents with scissors. Don't scare your pets with scissors either. All right, so we're going to do this, and I'm going to try to, uh, yeah, I think I can got it here. Uh, I got a good feeling I know what this is. Ah, it is. It is. I am correct on this. I had a shirt like this, but but it was two sizes too small. And when I found out this was on sale for the bigger size, I said I needed it because I am a big dude, um, as you can tell. And uh, there it is. Now, this year, not only marks the 30th anniversary of The Undertaker's debut in the WWE, but however... This also marks the 30th anniversary of one of the most popular Christmas movies of all time. One of the most popular Christmas movies, uh, probably the most popular Christmas movie of the 90s. We're talking about Home Alone. And my favorite scene is when the house gets booby-trapped and the wet bandits. The, the first two have been my favorites. And every single time the bandits try to come in and rob something, they get hurt. And I love it. And um, one of my favorite actors, and that's what... This is what introduced me to Joe Pesci. It's like, oh, this is Joe Pesci, okay. And and he became one of the funniest actors ever, and that's how, you know, and this is, uh, as Harry Lime, the frigid, 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 I'm going to rip his head off. I'm going to rip his head off. Frigid, 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 frigid. And he always says, that. he's trying not to swear, so he's trying to hold it in, like, frigid, I love, it just, it's hilarious. And, um, yeah so, they, yeah, so this year marks the 30th anniversary of Home Alone. And one of the most funniest um, funniest movies, funniest holiday movies ever. And uh, I'm glad I got the movie on DVD. So Home Alone 1 and 2 are my, are my favorites. And just, <laughs> if, if, you, uh, if you know what it's like to, you know, to be, uh, like, to be like the black sheep almost of your family and all that, Home Alone is just a movie for you, and it's one of one of those coolest movies ever. It's small, most awesome movies, and just uh, one of the funniest ever as well. And the fact of the matter is, is that um, I don't know. It's like I said. It's personally, it, personally, I love the movie. It's hilarious, and uh, and with the holiday season coming up, I may want to watch it again. That's how funny the movie is, and. And all of a sudden, you know, I do, another funny scene I, li I liked in that movie is when, um, was when, um, when they were going after Kevin, uh, the wet bandits were, and they chased him around the house, and Kevin's about to go up to the attic, and, and to, to escape, and all of a sudden Kevin finds, uh, his brother's pet tarantula, and puts it on Marv. And the story of that is when he screamed. That the scream was funny. The scream was, the the scream was funny. And but because uh, they recorded his scream earlier, because that way they don't want if they actually scream, they don't want to scare the spider, scare the tarantula. So as the tarantula is on his face like this, and he's like, Wah! and he's like, and he said, it, it almost like he actually did scream. But it's like, if he'd scream, I don't know how the spider, uh, I don't know how the tarantula could stay chill like that. You know, it could be like the tarantula saying, I got this guy all scared up and I'm loving it, you know. But, you know, and then, you know, or does, 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 does the tarantula have sensitive ears inside it? You know, I don't know how it just stays that long and just... You know, like, I'd be screaming like that too if the spider was on my face. 
I hate spiders, and it just gives me the heebie-jeebies. I just like tarantulas. Those suckers are big, man. Anyways, and just, uh, it just, it just screams, it just screams, uh, yeah, spiders, spiders are screaming, and, uh, and this, that's, well, you know, especially when you watch Home Alone 2, the wet band is really, uh, really, and then almost now they call them sort of sticky bandits. And Daniel Stern, you know, Daniel Stern, yeah, the, uh, that you know, those two names became household now. Along with Macaulay Culkin, which I didn't. The cool thing about Macaulay Culkin, I found out he's a wrestling fan. So I was like, "What?" You know, he didn't make an appearance on Raw when Hornswoggle beat Chavo in the matchup and had the paint cans, and he was just standing there shaking his head. It was, it was pretty funny. Um, so it's it's something that um, you know, yeah. So I love Home Alone. Uh, Home Alone is my favorite Christmas movie of all time. Um, so that that is um, what I want to talk about, indeed. Um, also, uh, also, yeah, there's been a lot, a lot of things. There's been a lot of things that have been going on, and um, I just, I just ask, and I'm not going to talk about. It, just ask um, to keep my family in your prayers because we're going through a lot of things, and, and with the holidays are coming up, and with everything going happening this year, it's been a lot of stress, and um, it's been, it's been a lot of stress, and we've been going. You know, not everything is. You know, sometimes you know, we we I come on here on my YouTube and act like everything's all hunky dory. You know, obviously things have not been, and well, I'm doing fine. I'm doing okay. Is everybody else? You know, it's been a little stressed. Just, just keep us in your prayers. That's what I, I appreciate. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say any more any more into that. Um, just keep us, um, keep my family and I in your prayers. And we're all, physically. As far as health wise we're doing all, we're, we're well is that you know sometimes a lot of things have happened in our lives, and you know things things happen, things get said, and every you know sometimes you know miscommunications happen, and sometimes it gets it gets stressful to the point where you know everything is um you know everything is you know goes crazy but um but in the end, I think we're gonna be um I believe we're gonna be fine. I believe we're going to be okay. Sometimes, you know, sometimes there's details that need to be worked out and stuff like that. And I think, uh, and I, I, I believe our family's going to be okay. I, you know, I love my family. Um, very, very proud of them. Uh, because my sister Jaira posted something on Facebook about how, what she's gone through a lot. And as you know, she has, she and Jasmine share a YouTube channel. Uh, check out their channel, please. I do appreciate that. Um, and I told her how much I'm proud of her because she, has come a long way. I, cause I, you know, once I once went in her shoes, you know, I was medically, you know, disabled, so to speak. Um, a lot of things were, the odds were kind of against me when I was little, when I was her age. But then all of a sudden I ended up conquering all that. And, you know, right. So I know exactly what she's going through. But, you know, she's, her situation is a little different than mine's, obviously. But it's sort of like, it's almost like almost the same parallel path. You know what I'm saying? And just, you know, I always, I told her, and I, you know, I've always, I, all, I love all my siblings. There's no doubt about it. You know, even if they don't um, agree with some of my, some thoughts of mine, you know, even though if they don't agree with anything I say or do, or anything like that, for that matter, you know, I love my parents. You know, we we always have different opinions, but I've always been thankful for them, and I always will love them no matter what. You know, like I said, nobody's perfect, not even me. You know, I make mistakes. And you know, there there are times in my life where I felt like I have not set the example to, to, of a big brother that I should should have been. And um, you know, my life, uh, and I felt like I've not set the example to be the, the good son to my parents that I should have been. You know, I felt like I, you know, I felt like, yeah. Sometimes I feel like I've disappointed my parents or I shamed my parents or. Even worse, failed my parents, you know, and there, there were times I felt that way, and I asked my parents to forgive me of that, and but I know they they still love me, and I know they do, and I'm very thankful for that. There's no doubt in my, you know, there's no doubt in my mind, and uh, you know, a lot of things, you know, like I said, a lot of things do happen, and uh, circumstances sometimes circumstances happen beyond our control, and sometimes you know we blame ourselves, we blame each other, you know, but I've always tried to stay strong and to have a good attitude. And try to um, not worry about anything else. 
not worry about the negative stuff, you know, and, you know, like I said, you know, I come on here on, you know, do my YouTube thing, and then I get trolled on because, um, you know, because people don't like my appearance, they don't like what I talk about, who I am, and all that, and I'm not trying to worry about them anymore, that's the, you know, to me, I've always had this personal belief that I'm going to be okay, my family's going to be okay, you know, I've, I try not to worry, you know, and worrying just makes things worse, you know, I don't like, I don't like worrying, you know, the Bible says don't worry, you know, a lot of people, but also there's that, there has been uh, people that have been trying to, um, you know, working behind the scenes trying to ruin our family, basically, and, you know, and it's happened to me, you know, I got, you know, like Trolly the Troll is trying to do whatever it takes to turn me against my own family. And I don't like doing that. And I don't like people doing that. And that's, that's the thing I don't appreciate. That's why I blocked Trolly the Troll from all my videos. Because all this person, this individual, whoever is behind that channel, all they're trying to do is basically turn me against my own family and my own parents. And I don't like that at all. You know, if there's someone always behind the scenes trying to ruin our family and ruin us. And, you know, and it's sad that, you know, people... You know, it's not just our family. It's people. There's, 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 there's a family. There's someone that is a friend, or something like that, and they're trying to set you know people against their own families, and it's not really cool. You know, family's family, no matter what. You know, and uh, I love my family. You know, my relatives, uh, my cousins, my grandparents up in Lake, not Lake uh, Maine, excuse me, up in Maine, my aunts and uncles and cousins and all that, and. It's just sad that you know when you know families you know kind of clash, and that's why I stay out of stay out of things a lot of times. You know, that's why I don't talk about politics, religion, or anything like that, um, because it hurts a lot of families. It hurts a lot of people, and just you know, I am a firm believer in what family is all about. Yeah, I go off on my own, doing my own thing, and it's because I'm old enough to do that. But the fact of the matter is, is this: I do respect. My parents, I do love my parents, and you know I'm not perfect in any way possible. I've, I'll say that time and time again, because people, there's people out there that don't get it, they don't understand, you know, or they just don't, they just want to say stuff just to annoy me, and to get me, um, you know, all hot and all that, and uh, you know, all, all hot and bothered, and they think it's funny that to get me off on, you know, you know what's also sick about the internet is that people get off on negative emotions. It's like they say something they want to stir things up and because okay we're not getting the attention um, we wanted so we're going to stir things up to make people get angry get mean and all that and there are people going to be like that you know time to ignore the noise and just keep going you know and that's why you know just be um, move on with your life and that's basically what I'm trying to do and you know if this it is it is something going on that does not involve me and it's like an argument and all that I stay out of it you know and and that way, you know, let them, let them settle, let them settle their differences, and let them cool down and all that before I want to talk to them, and all that. So, um, yeah, um, so things like that happen, and you know, stuff like that happens. You know, people try to come after me and everything else. It's like nowadays, I'm just like, eh, whatever, you know, that type of deal. So, uh, but you know, the holidays are coming up. A miracle needs to happen. That's my. That's my. That's what I'm thinking. You know, the holidays have been a great times for miracles. Sometimes we, I believe in miracles, and I believe something good, cool is going. You know, sometimes when you, you know, sometimes you know, there's a saying: in order to get to, to heaven, you have to go through hell. You know, and right now, 2020 is hell, and we're going through it right now. You know, because. All the stuffs, the restrictions, the protests, the riots, and everything else has been happening. This is how we're living it, you know. This year has been hell, and we're going through it. And sometimes we get to heaven. In order to get to heaven, we have to go through hell. And that's the way, you know, that's the way I see it as. Yeah, 2020, yeah, it is a sucky year. I'll explain what made it worse uh, on the next episode, because I have... And it's prompted me to do a top, top 10 list again. So that's going to be a huge thing. Um, so just believe and have faith. Don't give up. Um, you know, just um, 
don't worry about a thing, man. All right. Once again, this is what came in the mail today. My shirt with Harry Lime, a.k.a. Joe Pesci, and it says all that mean stuff. 30th anniversary of Home Alone. Can't wait to watch it. Again, I'm going to find the DVD. I have the DVD. Love Home Alone, Home Alone 1 and 2. And that's what I'll do. Ding, rims are done. Ding, rims are done. And let's see. Okay, what else is up? Big weekend coming up for EML 77 TV before I end things. Uh, Hell in a Cell, picks and predictions. I'm going to make that. Um, Halloween Havoc is going to be very interesting as well. Uh, three matches happening on the card. A couple of more matches are happening on the uh, matches happening on NXT. Uh, triple Threat match: Kushida versus Ciampa versus Velveteen Dream. Um, Legal Vel del Fantasma. That'll be the team of Santos Escobar, Joaquin Wilde, and Raul Mendoza. They take on the team of Ashante Diadamas, the Adonis, uh, Jake Atlas, and Isaiah Swerve Scott in there. The Undisputed Era, cha- um, uh, Bobby Fish and Roderick Strong. They're challenging Brizango for the NXT Tag Team Championships. Um, a lot is going on. A lot is happening. And uh, let's see what else is on. i got to check .com because .com usually has some good stuff on. It, has some, it always has some breaking news. And let's see. I'm going in Rakes in the Hell in the Cell. Uh, Alexa Bliss joined Final Fly Funhouse. All right. Okay, here we go. And, uh, okay, you got Legal Val Phantasma. Let's, uh, you know, let's see, uh, uh, they're talking about that already. Um, let's see. Shows. Uh, let's, let's premiere shows. Uh, Hell in a Cell. Raw, SmackDown, NXT. NXT. Okay, what's going on? NXT. And. On your speed, Eric. Okay, chat. And let's see. What else is there? What else is there? What else is there? What else is there? Um. Okay, uh, let me check. Let me check the NXT Twitter before I do things, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna still talk to you guys because I know I'm not staring at the video, uh, at the camera right now. Let's see. Um, let's see. All right, Thunderdome. Okay, the bump after the bell, and uh, and uh, let's see. Oh, found up picture of retribution which I may want to save so I can uh, do some some adjusting with that one I can make it let's see what else what else what else, what else? all right all right WB NXT trend link okay welcome home sweet home Tony Storm um, we only see facts on uh, Tony Storm and we'll make the deal latest. Okay, the latest. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. I think that I think that's all there is to it, man. So so far, yeah, those are the matches that are happening. So three of the matches we know. Zaya Lee's got a match tonight. Um, we don't know what the, what the uh, we don't know what the uh, the fate is. Um, like I said, uh, Hell in a Cell picks and predictions. I'll be making those. Also, uh, the biggest episode, possibly the biggest episode, three days away of Power Rangers Beast Morphers, will be airing on TV soon. And there's there's some big news. Speaking of TV, uh, big news on of uh, legendary holiday specials. I will talk that about that in the next episode, and uh, that prompts me to do a top ten list, once again, holiday specials, so I'm looking forward to that, all right? That's all the time we have on the show, episode 934 of EML77TV, Amazon, I mean Amazon, online unboxing number 29, complete, and uh, once again, 30th anniversary of Home Alone, you got to get a shirt of Home Alone, man, if you're a big Joe Pesci fan, like I am, Joe Pesci is funny and hilarious. It's the shirt, okay? I uh, bought it on eBay, my size. All right, I'll see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next episode, 935. Bye.